everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Guys, I gotta tell you, I feel like I am in 100% scramble mode. I've got the tournament season right around the corner. I still don't have my boat back from the wrap guy and I can't put stuff into the boat to get that ready. I've got a bunch of different opportunities that are in the work based on uh, YouTube and the support that I've gotten from you guys. And I've just got a lot of different stuff going on. Plus, I'm trying to finish three epoxy tables for my wife's chiropractic clinic. And uh, I think you guys saw it at one point in one of my videos. I had a mold sitting in the back. It's like a coffee table size mold. I'm doing three tables that are all basically similar that are going to go into some of the exam rooms. Uh, and I've got those all poured, all flattened, all cut to shape. I just need to do the sanding and put a finishing coat on. They're really looking sharp, but they will really pop once the sanding and the finishing coat goes on. But I'm excited to have those finished or at least have a lot of the uh, most time consuming work finished. So yeah, right now that leads me into this upcoming season. And I got to tell you, as I'm trying to prepare and get all my tackle and rods and reels and everything ready. I'm spending a lot of time putting orders in for tackle. And there is so much cool stuff out there that I'm finding as I'm trying to put orders, you know, in. And it's just, it, it, we're really in a period where as an angler, there are endless opportunities to come to, to you know, find baits that fit the techniques that you want to work. And for somebody like myself who likes to tackle, uh, tinker with tackle, it just gives me so many different variations of items to try to blend and put together and figure out what works best. But it's amazing how much tackle is out there right now and how much cool stuff there is coming from different areas of the world, not just the United States, but different countries all over the place. So what that's going to lead me into here is my, my topic for today's episode are going to be the five baits that I'm really excited to utilize for next year and five baits that I think you guys are going to hear a ton about by the end of the year. Uh, I think they all have a really good place to, to, to be used. I have not used all of them yet because some of these are new. Uh, well, they're all basically new. And if they've been out for a few months, it's been really d difficult to get. So I've been lucky enough to get a bunch of this stuff in and I'm really looking forward to putting them to work next year and i think you're going to hear a ton about them so that's what i want to do i want to show you five baits that i think you're really going to want to uh, find and purchase at least one of just to give a try uh you know I, I i am affiliated with berkeley they are a sponsor of mine in the tournament world but as you guys know i talk about all different baits that are out there but i gotta say berkeley has stepped up their game the last several years uh with not just their plastics but with their hard baits as well. And it just, it's almost, they're coming out with so much cool stuff. It's hard to keep up with it all. A lot of the stuff I haven't even got my hands on, but I can tell you one of the baits that you're going to hear a ton about next year is the power bait boss scrub. Uh, it's just a small little trailer bait that has, you know, two little kickers on it that is going to be an extremely versatile bait, one that you can use as a trailer, one that you can use by itself, one that will be good for, you know, bottom fishing baits, suspended baits. It really is a, a extremely versatile bait that I have utilized a little bit for the last month or so, had really good success, even just on a guppy head swimming it through the water column. Uh, but I can tell you guys, this is gonna be a bait that you will hear a lot about. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on this um it's just it's one that is a killer bait and it was something berkeley was missing from their lineup for a while and i'm really excited to try it the next one is one that uh again i'm really excited to use if you watch a lot of my videos you'll see in the fall i did a video on a micro chatter bait and how much i really like that but there were things that I didn't like about it, uh, you know, like the hook size on it. It just, it didn't feel like it was ready to go, like super bulky. I wanted a little bit heavier weights. And lo and behold, you know, at that point, several of you guys out there told me Z-Man was coming out with the Chatterbait Mini Max. So I have purchased a bunch of the Chatterbait Mini Maxes. And this thing has got everything in it that I wanted when I was using the micro last year. I mean, it's got a beefed up hook. You can get heavier sizes. 
it's just going to be a chatterbait that I think you're going to hear an awful lot about this upcoming season. You know, it's a little bit smaller in profile. So I think, you know, for me, a chatterbait's always been a big fish bait. It's, it's not necessarily a bait about getting bit in numbers, but I think that you're going to see with the smaller size, more compact, mini max size, that you will find that it probably is going to catch more fish, and I think you'll still get the size on it. So I think that that mini max chatterbait is going to be a very big player this upcoming season. Now here's another one that I have talked about, and again, I used a couple of times this fall, and that's the Berkeley Stunna. You know, this is a jerk bait that, from what I've seen so far, has everything it needs. It dives deep. The, the, you can get them down six to ten feet, depending on the version that you have. The slash motion is amazing on it. It casts like a dream. You know, it's just a great looking jerk bait in the water. It's the profile that I prefer. It's a slender profile and it's got narrow sides, so it's not a big bulky, bulky bait. That's what gives it that great slashing motion. I'm willing to bet you guys that we are going to hear, you know, the Berkeley Stun is going to be one of the absolute top baits we hear about next year, especially right away this spring when jerk bait season rolls around. It would not surprise me if the first event, the pro circuit event on uh, Sam Rayburn at the end of January is won on a Berkeley Stun. If it is, you heard it here first. Next up. This is a bait that's been around for a while, but again, I got my hands on them right in the end of last year, and I did a video on it, and I put them to work, and I can't tell you how many people have reached out to me asking me if they can get their hands on some or where to get them. And I believe Tackle Warehouse finally has a few in stock now, but this is a bait that's been around for a while. It's the Chigger Craw, but this is not just the Chigger Craw. This is the Max Scent Chigger Craw. So it's the same body shape and size as the original Berkeley Power Bait, but this one now has the Max Scent formula in it. And I got to tell you guys, I used it in a couple of videos or one of the videos I put out, but I used it several times in the fall and it just seemed like I was getting more bites on it. And yes, I live on a river here that's got a lot of smallmouth, but they could not get enough of it. I went through multiple packs of these when I was on the water, and I think you're gonna hear more about the little three inch size, which to me is a phenomenal trailer for pretty much anything from your swim jigs to your finesse jigs. It's just a much smaller, more compact size that really works well on compact baits. So I think we're gonna hear a lot more uh, about Max Scent in general, but in the past it's been more about the Max Scent flatworm, right? But now there's so many different shapes and sizes and baits that have come out in the max scent formula that I think you're gonna to continue to hear a lot about it in 2022. I don't think it's going away anytime soon. There is a very, very big market for max scent products because they are catching fish everywhere. The last bait, again, we're gonna go back to uh, the, uh, the jerk bait world. And this is one that I used a little bit this fall. And I gotta say, I didn't, catch what I was expecting to catch on it, but I really like the way it looks. And this is the new Shimano uh, World Minnow with their flash boost technology. And there's like a, a little piece of foil in there that shakes back and forth if you can see it. But it's another jerk bait that just is, it's very cool technology and it's it's been nominated for all kinds of new bait awards. It's won a bunch of awards at ICAST and various things. So there's a ton of buzz about that bait. We will see if it holds up or not. You know, sometimes, not that that's gimmicky, but it's a little bit different. And sometimes those are the baits that have the most buzz and it fades away. And sometimes they're the baits that have the most buzz for a reason. And that's because they catch a ton of fish. But I do think you're going to hear a lot about that bait in the future in this upcoming year. You know, I think you're, it's going to be one of those years where, guys, I feel like we're having such a warm winter right now that we're probably going to have a cool blast of weather coming in in the spring period, which is going to prolong the, the spawning season and the pre-spawn periods, which means you're going to hear a lot about your jerk baits. You're going to hear a lot about your chatter baits. And, uh, you know, when you're talking about plastics, it's hard to beat a lot of the power bait and the Max Scent plastics that Berkeley comes out with. 
But those are five baits, guys. I'm willing to bet you guys at the end of the year, and you guys can hold me to this, at the end of the year, I bet those five baits will have gotten a lot of the press in the fishing world. So what other baits do you guys think are going to be big baits for 2022? Throw it in the comment section. I'd love to see it. It's amazing how much tackle's on the market right now. And uh, I'm sure there's going to be three or four baits that just take 2022, you know, by the horns. I think it's just going to be a really good year for, for tackle companies. So throw it in the comment section if you have one that you recommend. And stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching, guys.